Hello everyone, this is Gunesh Anubhak from uh, Programming Knowledge. So this video series will be focused on teaching you data science with Python. So I will be teaching you about different libraries which you can use to leverage data science and uh, to get some particular insights from data science. Then we will create some machine learning models in the end. I will be showing you different case studies also. So let's get started. So what is data science? So data science is the science of analyzing raw data using statistics and machine learning techniques with the purpose of drawing insights from the data. So data science is used in many industries to allow them to make better business decisions and in the sciences to test models or theories. So let's talk about the different steps in data science. The first step is reading the data. So this is a very important step then we have data processing and cleaning 80 percent of the data science consists of data processing and data cleaning then we have summarizing the data then we will do visualization and then we have deriving insights from the data so what is data manipulation and processing so for this we use a library called pandas so Pandas library offers a variety of functions for data wrangling and data manipulation. Then we use this Pandas particular functions for data summarizing, that is data summary. Then for visualization, we have libraries such as Matplotlib and Seaborn. So we use these libraries to show us a two dimensional charts and we also derive data insights from this particular data set. So these are data science global trends. So you can see that 57% uh, of global people use Python as their main programming you know, language for data science. And the second one is R. So Python libraries using data science are NumPy, then Pandas. For visualization, we have Matplotlib and Seaborn. And then for machine learning models, we have scikit-learn. So how you set up your environment for data science is simple. I have already created video about that. So I will be using Anaconda distribution. So Anaconda is a package manager which provides you an easy way to install and run uh, different libraries. So I have made a video. I will give a link to the video in the description. That is install Anaconda Python, Jupyter Notebook and Spider on Windows 10. Okay. and. Uh, also, I will encourage you to go and watch my series on Python NumPy tutorial for beginners. I will give link to this video series in the video description. So I'll, I have opened my Anaconda distribution. So this is called Anaconda Navigator. So I will open Jupyter. So it will run and it will open in the browser. So, okay. Let me close the other windows. Mm. Okay, so okay, so now we have our Jupyter. So here we have to select our file. So instead of going through the folder and selecting, I will just create a new file from top. You can click on new and here you can select Python 3. So this will create a new Jupyter notebook. So here you can rename the notebook. I'll name it as pandas tutorial. Press enter. Okay. So our Jupyter notebook is ready. So this is a cell and we can add new cells by clicking on that icon. And this is the file menu, edit menu view insert we can insert cells then we can run cells and then kernel is get okay so we can save and we can add new cell using that icon you can cut we can or we can delete the cells you can copy we can paste then we can go up and down so we can go up and down using these keys and we can run using this icon and we can stop also so let's import the pandas so type import pandas 
as PD. So we'll use PD as a short form for calling the pandas. We have imported the pandas library now. So we'll use PD to call the pandas library. So before that, the data set we will be using in this uh, tutorial, I'll be giving the link to them in a GitHub repo. So this is a GitHub repository I have created. And in that uh, we have three files, that is iris data samples. And uh, there are three types of files here. One is CSV, one is text and one is Excel file. So pandas can read all of them and these are mostly used in the data science. So CSV is uh, based on the comma separated value. So after every value there is a comma. So if you see the raw, you can see the after every value there is a comma. So that's why it is called as CSV, comma separated value. The next file is um, text file. So text file is a tab separated value. So after every value there is a tab. So that's why it is called as text. And uh, another one is Excel file. Excel file you know we open it in Excel, Microsoft Excel and uh, it is in the form of uh, tables, row and column. So you don't need to read it. It has downloaded. So um, okay. Now let's go to the Jupyter notebook. So now we'll change our directory to the directory where our uh, file data set is there. So I have put it. Um, in this directory users gunesh s and data set so we'll change to that directory for changing the directory we'll use uh, os so we'll import the os now os dot there is a function called change dir that is chdir so inside this function we'll put a directory path to where we want to change it so we have users gunesh s then the name of the directory that the data set okay now if you run it by clicking either this or shift and enter so i'll click this so it is run now we'll see if it is uh, really changed or not so we'll use list dir command so you can see text excel and csv files are imported okay so now how you will read it so pandas can have a uh, data frames so data frames are like uh, objects where we store the values so panda is more, mostly used for uh, excel like computations where uh, we are getting the tables rows and columns and we st uh, store it in a data frames and we uh, run some uh, statistical measures on that data frame so that we can get some particular value or particular insight 